Hello, my name is Jesus Medina and I'm the creator of KO Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self-defense training. I'm also the owner of Seabreeze Fitness, which is located in Costa Mesa, California, which is right now recording this. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how an orthodox can literally uh, counter uh, by slipping a jab uh, from a, a southpaw boxer. I'm also going to show you vice versa. It's literally the same exact thing, reverse. All right, um, it's obviously gonna look a little awkward, so I'm gonna try to spend some, some little bit of time showing you uh, what the southpaw will do against the right, you know, uh, jab. All right, so I got here Warrior Steven today helping me demonstrate this. Um, once again, we're gonna show you how to uh, how to slip uh, a southpaw jab, being an orthodox stance, uh, team war style. So the first thing we're gonna do is obviously. Uh, um, uh, designate the stances. So uh, um, he's uh, orthodox and I'm the southpaw. So that means his left foot, his left foot is going to be the one that's leading. Uh, my right foot is going to be that lead, is going to be leading. Now there's a comp there's a little compromise on both our stances right now because we're both on each other's way. If, if I was a righty, it's easier. We can fit inside each other easily, a lot easier. All right, I can get close to him and still keep my distance here. I right, kind of like how uh, Mayweather does. Uh, but if it's a southpaw, all right, it's hard for me to come in. All right, if I come in wrong, all right, show them what you can do. All right, once again, go this way. All right, if I go into his side, his stance, all right, boom, he can easily just shift his leg in and it makes my knee buckle. So that's why I, both ends, not just southpaw, but uh, all does as well, want to step out. All right, right here, especially as a southpaw, you have a better control, obviously vice versa. Uh, orthodox has better control if your lead foot is outside your opponent's orthodox, uh, southpaw's uh, lead foot, foot. That way you can take control of it. All right. Um, so what we're gonna do is the first thing you're gonna do is flip the jab. All right. So let's go this way. So if I'm the southpaw, all right, I'm gonna throw the jab. All he needs to do is step out and towards me a little bit, uh, um, uh, just to just to slip the jab on this one. So out and in towards me a little bit, so he's going to slip the jab, go ahead, boom. And notice how he threw his right shoulder in. You're going to say, why would you do that? Well, right here, when he comes back to go back up to position of power, he can throw a hook, go back again down, he can throw an uppercut, boom, as he's going back out. Because he threw that shoulder in, he has to go back anyways to get back to position of power. All right, let's show him from the side. Again, so slip that shoulder, bam, bam, out. Again, throw the hook. Oh, all right, so that's why you throw that shoulder in. Basically, like you're trying to hit him with your shoulder. All right, um, you go towards the side the punch came. So that's the first thing. So that's what we're gonna drill. All right, so we already drilled it. So all it is is he's stepping out first. At the same time, though, simultaneously he's gonna bring that shoulder in as well. Crunch in towards the side. He's stepping too. So crunch into the side, and that's it. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, so what you wanna do is um, you can make a straight line. All right. There's a straight line here, I don't know if you can see, you can see it on that one most slightly. All right. There's a little line right there. Anyhow, so we, we, what we would do is you stand on that side, you, you make your uh, uh, student stand on one side, you stand on the other, and you're just going to follow, all right, that line. All right, so if it was right here, all right, there's a little line right here, you're just going straight to the side. All right, you're not circling, all right, like we normally tend to do, whether you're an orthodox or southpaw. All right, so we're going to literally... Try to go left and right so that they can teach them how to cut off the ring for a southpaw. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and stand. All right, so all he's going to do is he's going to step straight out with the line itself. So straight, straight out, boom, he's going to slip. Now he's going to throw his uh, rear foot back and over. All right, now he's positioned pow uh, powerfully. I'm positioned to throw right here. All right, so he's already positioned. He can hit me right there easily. I can't hit him at all from this angle. I have to, first of all, step over, reposition myself for one, all right, or try to lunge way over. All right, I'm compromised over in this ligaments. I'm off balance. He can easily just step over again or step back, and uh, uh, he evades any shot that I give him from that angle. All right, so that's how simple it is. So now we're going to drill that. All right, so all you're going to do is nice and smooth. Step over, dip, step back, and then get away, and then come back in again. So that's what we're going to do. Go ahead. There you go. Again. All right, one more time. All right, here we go. There we go. I beat you to the inside. Outside of me. 
Alright, on one of them I beat him to the outside and he kind of tripped a little bit. Alright, so now he, he, gets to, he gets to feel why he needs to step outside. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, not waste any energy. So any momentum we're building up, we're going to take advantage of it. So now, now that you got that down, that step over, now we're going to add to that same exact thing. So all you're going to add is a double, uh, 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 follow through with a two. All right, so go ahead and come over slow. So you're going to come over and come over in case I try to swing. And then right there, just load up, boom. All right, so as soon as you land, let's go sideways. All right, so he's going to slip the mid jab. All right, so you're going to come over and then throw this straight. All right, so uh, you, you didn't go far enough. Go a little further. Boom. Throw it. And then right here. So see right here, I'm off balance. Before I even come over to try to attack him, he's already loaded up to fire up. And he's loaded up right where he's at. He's in range. I am not in range. I got to step in for one and then come over before I can barely even reach him. By the time I do all that, he's already loading up to hit me. Anyways, let's do it again. Here we go. And then look. So as soon as he lands, you know, that's when he wants to lunge forward. You want to use that momentum, use that plow, uh, mouth form of plow metrics. Let's go ahead and do it one more time. There you go. Alright, so let's do it for a few different angles. Alright, so notice, if you're forgetting to step over, open the door. There you go, boom. So see, I'm stepping here, and now i got to come over here. Again, way off, way off balance for one. All right, I can't hit any power from this side, not even with this jab. This is not going to do anything. It's going to open myself up. Now he can attack me even more. So I, again, I got to step over and punch over or come out of the way. But your instinct is going to be to try to get that moving target, hit it before you move away. By that time, he's already uh, uh, countering you. One last time on this side. All right, so come back. All right, again. There you go. See, he's all, almost all the way to my side. All right, so now we're going to add to that. Actually, we're going to drill it a little bit, follow that line, get over here. So let's do it a few times. Take it a little too long. Don't wait for it. Remember, quad, that's only for the drill part. Now, as soon as you acquire, yeah, uh, evade, uh, evade that, any, any danger, and then acquire the target and get the hell out again. Uh, find the path to least resistance. All right, so now. I'm going to go ahead and add another, get another punch, all right? So what it is, is going to be a jab added. Let's go sideways real quick. All right, so all it is is everything's the same, all right? He's going to slip my jab by stepping now, bringing that shoulder in. Right here, as he's throwing that left foot back, right foot back, I mean, he's going to throw a little, crazy little jab. All right, it doesn't even have to be a strong uh, uh, jab to, to, uh, to hurt, all right? It's just a diversion. Uh, it's also uh, uh, to set himself up for the next shot because that's a little bit of counterbalance that helps him uh, time and gauge what he needs to do with his entire body. All right, so let's go back again. All right, so here we go. Bam, bam, and then boom. That's when he follows up with the two. Now that should be a lot snappier. It should be a lot more powerful because then you can use your waist now a lot better because you're counterbalancing yourself with that one shot. So let's go ahead and do it again. Let's go a little bit snappier. Not quite to snappier. Here we go. All right, keep going. All right, let's go to this angle. All right. Good, one more. All right, pay attention to his feet. All right, you might not be able to see in this one, but I'm going to show you one more angle that you're going to be able to see it. Forget about the punching. It looks nice, yes, but don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to what's going on with his feet and his shoulders, all right? Here we go. One more time. All right, so when we start, I'm gauging right here and I'm going to lunge to his face where I see it. And you see a small little step uh, completely makes me miss. Here we go. 